Hi everyone and welcome back to another episode of Radical Lifestyle. Today we're going to be making something really easy and really delicious. It's a really simple beetroot stir fry. This is a really common dish from South India. So let's not waste any more time and jump right in and check out the ingredients. Okay, so let's make this uh, beetroot stir fry. So I've got my beetroot peeled, washed, and I've cut it into small cubes. So this is just about the size you want. Okay, and then I've also got uh, four medium-sized onions, medium to small, and they're also cut into cubes along with two green chilies cut into small circles. Okay. And I've also got my two whole red chilies. If you want it more spicy, you can add more. And I've got my coconut oil and my mustard seeds. And also a sprig of curry leaves. So let's get started. My pan is hot and I'm adding the coconut oil. First thing I'm going to do, I'm going to make the tempering. So I'm going to add about a teaspoon of mustard seeds. I'm going to wait for that to start cracking. Once it starts cracking like that, I'm going to cut just or just rip these uh, red chili powder into two and add them as well. Next, I'm going to turn the heat down a little bit. Next, I'm going to add my curry leaves. You can add them a whole or you can just give it a rip down the middle as well just to bring out the flavors. Okay. Next, we're going to add the onions and the green chili. Alright, let's mix everything with the oil. I'm going to turn the heat back up to medium again. So just to add uh, help with the uh, frying of the onions, I'm going to add a little bit of salt. So this will make the onions turn brown faster. And just mix everything again. Once it starts turning a little bit brown like this, I'm going to add half a teaspoon of turmeric powder and let's mix everything together. Then you're going to add the, the beetroot. Let's mix everything up. The beetroot already has a lot of water content, so we're not going to add too much water to uh, help it cook. But we'll add just about maybe a quarter of a cup, even maybe even less than that, just to help it uh, cook faster. But before that, you just make sure you're getting all of the turmeric on uh, all of the uh, beetroot. Okay, once everything is mixed up, make sure your heat is set down to the lowest setting. 
we're going to add just a splash of water to get the cooking going. <coughs> we'll give it a few minutes and come check on it later. Okay, let's take a look at how our beetroot is coming along. You can see the bottom half has already cooked. So let's just give it a flip. Alright, we'll give it a few more minutes. Okay, let's check on the beetroot again. All right, so it looks about just about done. And I'm gonna add some more salt to it. I know we add a little bit with the onions, but just need a little bit more salt on the beetroot. Okay, let's mix it up. All right, so the beetroot is done, at least for me, because I like to keep it a little bit crunchy and keep the nutrients locked in. But I know most people like to cook it all the way through to get like that soft texture. But this way, you get more of the beetroot nutrients. All right, our beetroot is done cooking. Now you can tell when the water is completely gone that it's, uh, it's done cooking. Now I'm going to turn the stove off and let, once it cools down a little bit, I'm going to transfer it to my serving bowl. Okay, so it's done and I've transferred it to my serving dish. So let me know what you guys think of this recipe. I know it's a little bit different than what most people are used to. But let me know what you think on the comment box. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe to Radical Lifestyle. See you later in the next episode.